Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about roots, let's discuss about another important part of a plant that is flower. So flower is something that makes a plant look beautiful. But at the same time, flower plays a very crucial role in the life cycle of a plant. So what is a flower? So you would have seen a lot of flowers, different shapes, different colors, different fragrance. But if I ask you, how can you define a flower? What is it? How would you call it? So it is the reproductive organ of the flowering plant. So the plants are able to reproduce because of flowers. So like every organism need to reproduce. Human beings also give birth to their young ones and that's how they retain their species. So if reproduction doesn't happen, what will happen? The entire species will get lost. So if plants do not reproduce, what will happen? One day we will have no plant on this earth. So that's why the process of reproduction is needed. Now if we want reproduction to take place, for sexual reproduction to take place, there has to be some reproductive organ. So that reproductive organ in a plant is the flower. Now structure wise or formation wise flower is nothing but a modified shoot. So it is a part of the shoot which gets modified to form a reproductive organ which gets modified to perform the functions of a reproductive organ and that's how it becomes a flower. So let us now try to understand the structure of a flower. What are the different parts of a flower? So here on the screen you see a very generalized picture of a flower, however different flowers have uh, different shapes, different colors and different structures as well. But more or less the parts of the flower remain the same for all flowers. Okay, so when you look at this flower, the, the most prominent thing that we see in a flower are the colored petals. So these colored structures in a flower are called petals. So these petals are colored, it, it could be red in some, it could be yellow in some, it could be blue in others. So they are available in a variety of colors. The next important part is the sepals. So these structures, the leaf-like structures which are present outside the petals. So if you have ever observed that when there is a bud in a tree, you do not see the petals because the petals are hidden inside. So this is how a bud looks like, right? So the petals are hidden inside and it is covered with green leaf-like structures. Now when the bud turns into a flower, what happens to these green leaf-like structures? So they are the sepals. So they are seen outside the petals but they are very small when compared to the size of the petals. So these green leaf-like structures are called sepals. So this rod-like structure which holds the entire flower that is called the stalk of the flower or the thalamus. So this is called thalamus or stalk. Then comes those parts of the flower which actually help in the process of reproduction and that is why we call flower as the reproductive organ of a plant. So this part which you see at the center, so what you see, you see a swollen structure at the bottom and then a thin tube like structure. So this entire structure forms the female reproductive part of a flower. So this is called carpel or pistil. So carpel and pistil are two uh, different names by which this female reproductive part of a flower is known. So this is the carpel. Now similarly you also see some thin hair like structures with swollen with bulb like structures at one end. So these structures are the male reproductive organs of the flower and they are called stamen. So these are the important parts of a flower. So stamen is the male reproductive part and carpel or pistil is the female reproductive part. So more or less these are the important parts in a flower. So let us quickly look at each of their functions. So when it comes to stalk, it holds the flower as I mentioned. So this is the stalk. Then comes the thalamus which is nothing but the swollen portion of the stalk. So this is thalamus. And this is stalk. Then you have petals, so the colored parts of the flower are called petals and these colored parts uh, because of their uh, variety of colors it attracts a lot of insects to the flowers. 
and how are insects beneficial for the flowers because insects help in the process of pollination so insect helps uh, in the process of reproduction so that's how flowers want insects to come towards them sepals these ensures protection of the petals because as i said when the flower is uh, a bud so at that time the petals are not seen much so their petals are hardly seen but the sepals cover them to ensure protection so it is something like when a baby is too small then the mother gives enough protection to the child but as the child grows up and becomes mature the child can take care of itself so the same thing holds true here so when it is a bud the bud needs care it needs protection so that protection is given by the sepals now as the bud grows to form a flower then the sepals are set aside and the flower can take care of its own so the main purpose of sepal is to provide protection to the petals next part is stamen which is the male reproductive organ so these are the stamens now these male reproductive organ they produce male gametes now what happens during the process of reproduction is that you have one male you have one female so the male part will produce a male gamete so gamete is nothing but a sex cell so the male part will produce a male gamete female part will produce a female gamete and then this male gamete and female gamete will fuse together to form a new organism or to form a child so that that's the very basic concept of reproduction so in this case the stamen is the male reproductive organ so the stamen will produce male gametes and these male gametes are called pollen grains so inside the stamens we will look at the structure of stamen in more detail and there we will see that pollen grains are present within the stamens and these pollen grains will fuse with the female gamete now let's see what's the female gamete now the female reproductive organ is the carpel so this entire structure is carpel carpel and pistil are the same thing so this produces the female gamete so the female gamete is called ovum or egg so basically during the process of reproduction of a flower this pollen grain and this egg they fuse together to form a new flower so that is the main concept of reproduction so now what we want we want the pollen grains and the egg to meet to fuse together and that's how a new a new uh, or new plant will be formed so that that that's where that that's the story of reproduction so i hope that this gives you a, a fair idea about how flowers act as reproductive or thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again